You tell them, guys. This video, why it is about depth, why hopping around is not the best strategy, and why Hinduism is always uh, supporting you being integrated to the path that you were initiated into. So with this, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. So, in Hinduism, actually Swamiji shared that in, uh, in Satsang recently. Actually, I forgot the term. Uh, there's a type of scriptures, Mandana, Mandana something. There's a second word which I'm missing. Um, I'll add it in the editing. Um, this set of scriptures is basically within Hinduism. There are thousands, if not millions of paths that leads towards mukti, liberation. But they say that the moment you get initiated into one path, if I get initiated into Om Nityanda Paramashivoham, Swamiji, and this Mahavakya becomes my path. When you hop from paths to paths, you will never give yourself an opportunity to go in depth because you will constantly be um, your 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 attention, your the your seeking will constantly be f focusing on superficial things. But all these superficial things they may look different, but deep down they come from the same source. So we need to find the source. When you find the source, you find everything. So once you get initiated. If you, have, if you have Swamiji as your Guru, then Swamiji is your Guru. And you should hold on to Swamiji until you become enlightened. And after that, you will continue and you will just offer your gratitude back to Swamiji in the same way Swamiji did for his Gurus and is doing now. But it's very important to hold on to one initiation, one lineage, one, one, one uh, your path, the path you get initiated into. We are lucky. Swamiji is, uh, Swamiji is initiating us in many paths. And because of that, we can explore Hinduism in its whole, which is a blessing. And that is why um, I believe Swamiji is the, the best guru available for any sincere seeker uh, today. And that is also one of the reasons why he is a, uh, an avatar, because he takes everything as a whole, because he understands the whole, he has the full experience. Now, um, these sets of scriptures, within Hinduism, there is many paths. And these sets of scriptures, they are there to um, tell that this path, whatever path you're into, whether it's Shaivism, Vaishnavism, Ganapatyam, uh, Ganapatas, or Shaktas, or um, so many traditions, these sets of scriptures are there to establish the supremacy of that tradition. But Swamiji was revealing, these scriptures are not ultimate. But these sets of scriptures are there to strengthen the stability of the devotee who has been initiated into a path. I am a Shaivite. I have been initiated into Shaivism. Shaivism is my path. Swamiji is my guru. Now, um, to hold on to Shaivism so that at some point when I face different kinds of self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial, I don't lose my integrity to Shaivism and start to explore other things unnecessarily. Instead of looking and attend to the root of the self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial, not get distracted by what's outside. Something that I referred to in a previous video when you saying, you know, sometimes you have a carrot dingling in front of you, sometimes you have a salad, you have different things and you feel like, oh, it's different, it's different, but actually the source of it is the same. So it's all about going in depth. And to go in depth, you have to remain integrated to something. You have to hold on to something. You hold on to Swamiji, to Guru. You hold on to Shaivism, the initiation that Swamiji is giving us. And while you hold on to that, you dig. Dum, 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 and you experience more and more depth. And even making these videos, and that is why I would encourage all of you to make videos also, it's important because you share what is what you're cognizing in your depth. And the more you do that, the more you can go deeper until you find the source of everything, that pure space of Paramashivoham. And until that becomes your cognition, your full cognition, not just a glimpse, not an experience, not an understanding, but a full-fledged 
everlasting eternal cognition. So yes, that's what I want to share in this video. So it's very important to hold on, to be integrated to Guru, Linga and Sangha. Once you get initiated, once you decide to jump into this path sincerely, you get initiated by Swamiji um, and hold on to Guru, Linga and Sangha and dig deep and find the source of everything, the Paramashivaham space and make it your own. I mean, it's already ours, but we are somehow avoiding to remember that for various reasons. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, uh, make sure you check all the videos. I upload many videos per day on YouTube, on this channel. And uh, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. And I'm thanking you all for watching this. And, uh, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityananda. Uh -huh.